Public sector debt has risen by almost £320 billion over the last 10 months. We're £2.1 trillion in debt. Unemployment is rising, self-employment is falling, and it's budget time. Good luck with this one, Rishi. Hiya folks, welcome back to the Small Business Toolbox. I'm Andy Mack and I've run my own businesses in the UK for a very long time. Sorry, it's been a little while since I put a video out on this channel. Things are very, very busy behind the scenes. You can see a little bit more about what's been going on behind the scenes over on the Gosworth Handyman channel. Basically, I'm working on a big renovation project at the moment and a lot of stuff that is very exciting for this channel and my other YouTube channels as well. So watch this space. There's a link in the description below over to the Gosseth Handyman channel if you want to have a look at that. As is traditional on this channel, let's take a look at the 2021 budget and see how it affects your small business. If you're self-employed or you run a small company in the UK, then the budget is really something that directly impacts you and it's something that you should keep an eye on every year because the things that get announced in the budget will have a real effect on how much money you make so it's something you need to get used to hopefully we're at the tail end of what's probably been the most difficult 12 months for most businesses that i can remember in my lifetime certainly almost half a million self-employed businesses have shut down due to everything that's been going on and as a small business owner i'm sure you know how much work and effort goes into setting up your business from scratch, how long it takes, many, many years of hard work, and for that to just be wiped out in the space of six to 12 months, it's just painful to watch. On top of that, the Office for Budget Responsibility expects there to be 2.2 million people unemployed by the end of the year, and that doesn't even take into account the whole furlough scheme ending as well, and that will have an impact on how many people lose their jobs come kind of September time, unfortunately. I honestly think we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg here. Small businesses have been decimated by everything that's gone on. If you are in a well-paid, secure job, now is probably a bad time to be asking for a pay rise. On the plus side, Rishi Sunak has done a pretty amazing job with a budget in very difficult circumstances, I think. I certainly don't envy his task. So let's have a look through all of the points in the budget that affects small businesses. So I'm gonna miss out all the stuff that has like no real impact on the business community. And we're gonna just look at the things that affect self-employed people, sole traders, and smaller companies as well. First of all, the self-employment income support scheme is back for the fifth time. So the fifth lockdown grant is now available. Uh, to be honest, I've lost interest in making a video about that every time another grant application process comes through. They're all more or less following the same process. But the good news is, is that they're going to start taking into account income from the 2019-2020 tax year, which they were never taking into account before. So whereas before, if you'd set your business up in 2019, you were on your own, no help whatsoever from the government. And unfortunately, a lot of those businesses have gone to the wall and will never return. But if your business is still managing to kind of take over, you can now claim a self-employment income support scheme grant that includes the 2019-20 tax year, which is great news. There's one-off cash grants of up to £18,000 for businesses in the hospitality, accommodation, leisure, personal care, and gym sectors. I think that one just applies in England, by the way, so you will have to do a bit of digging in case some of the things I'm telling you are well, well, whether or not they're just for England or whether they're UK-wide. Talking of UK-wide stuff, there's a new recovery loan scheme, and that's for business loans from £25,001 to £10 million. And there's asset and invoice finance available from £1,000 to £10 million as well. So if any of that is relevant to your business, it's definitely worth having a look into. I'll include a link in the description below to details about all of the points that I'm mentioning in this video. For those of you in film and TV production, and I know there's quite a few people in those sectors who follow this channel, there's an extra three million pounds via the Culture Recovery Fund. Apparently that's aimed at theatres, museums, and other cultural organizations. So if you fit into any of those categories, that might be worth looking into. If you're in the hospitality sector, 
the VAT cut or the reduced VAT rate of 5% has been extended. That covers hospitality, accommodation and attractions and you can benefit from the 5% rate until the end of September and then it'll go up to a reduced rate of 12.5% until March 2022. Retail, hospitality and leisure businesses will continue to benefit from business rates relief. If you're looking to take an apprentice on, now is a very good time. There's an extension of the apprenticeship hiring incentive and an increase of payment to £3,000, which is good news. By what I can gather, that lasts until September, so if you want to benefit from that, now is the time to go for it. And there's also a new Flexi Job Apprenticeship Programme in England as well. The contactless payment threshold is going up from £45 to £100 so if you've moved to a kind of cashless way of working and you're becoming more and more reliant on contactless payments well good news that's going up to £100 now. Small and medium-sized employers will still be able to reclaim up to two weeks of eligible statutory sick pay that's per employee by the way and I'm gonna have to read this one out the government are also extending the loss carry back rules and that's going to work for up to £760,000 per company. Probably more relevant to larger companies, that one. Probably the biggest thing in this budget is the huge hike in corporation tax from 19% to 25%. I'm going to go into this in a little bit more detail because if anything is going to affect your business, it's probably going to be this one or it might be this one that you're panicking about. The general thing is here, don't panic. It's done on a tapered basis. If your business is making less than £50,000 profit per year, that's corporation tax profit, then you're going to stay on 19% and this doesn't affect you at all. And then it's going to kind of taper upwards towards the new rate of 25% and that's for businesses making over a quarter of a million pounds profit per year. So really that particular change is aimed more at medium to larger sized businesses. If you're a small business, you're probably making a lot less profit than that. The other thing is, is that this doesn't kick in until 2023 anyway. So if you are making more than 50,000 pounds profit per year through your company, then you've got a couple of years to kind of either restructure things or to work out and prepare for your higher tax bill. I haven't seen anything yet that describes the detail of how the taper will work from the 19% to the 25%. As I say, it's not the end of the world for very small businesses, but certainly if you're a medium-sized business, this is going to have a fairly big impact on how much money you're going to be making or how much tax you're going to be paying. But anyway, if you are making more than a quarter of a million pounds a year profit through your company, well done. There's a research and development tax credit of up to £20,000 plus three times the company's total pay and NIC liability. Again, I'm going to have to read this one out. From the beginning of April 2021, there's a new super deduction worth £25 billion to UK companies to encourage investment in new equipment and the like. It'll be in effect for a two-year period. Now, how this impacts you as a small business owner, again, it's probably more geared around bigger companies who are buying a lot of uh, like physical equipment and, and big investments in their businesses. But if you are planning on investing a lot of money in your business, then that's certainly something to look into in more detail. There's £375 million available through the Future Fund Breakthrough. This is predominantly to invest in highly innovative companies in the life sciences, quantum computing and clean tech industries who are looking to raise at least £20 million in funding. So if you're in any of those sectors, there's money up for grabs. There's a new Help to Grow scheme, which apparently is going to benefit about 130,000 businesses and it's going to give them a digital and management boost. Again, I couldn't find much detail about that, but if, I've, if I managed to find anything by the time this video goes out, I'll pop it down in the description below. And there's lots of money for energy related businesses ranging from wind power through to energy storage solutions and biomass feed stocks. But this is again, probably out of scope for most smaller businesses out there. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The big one is obviously the corporation tax hike, but don't panic. It doesn't kick in for a couple of years yet 
and it's more aimed at your medium to larger businesses anyway. There's a few other things such as a very slight increase in the national minimum wage and an increase in personal allowances as well, but it's not by very much. It's nothing to write home about. But other than all the things I've mentioned, there's no changes in income tax, VAT or national insurance contributions, which is kind of pretty amazing really. It's corporations that are gonna be footing the bill for repaying most of what's been borrowed due to lockdown. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If your business has been impacted by the various lockdowns, do let us know in the comments below as well. Hopefully, I know, you know, I'm seeing it from both sides of, of the scale. I've seen some businesses who have actually done very well out of lockdown and I've seen businesses that have just ceased to exist, that, that have folded, shut up shop, businesses that have been around for, you know, 30, 40 years that have gone under, they just, they couldn't survive it. And it's so painful to watch when you know how much effort has gone into building these businesses up in the first place. But yeah, hopefully we're coming out of it now. It's been unbelievably difficult times and uh, yeah, hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel. Do jump on the grants and loans available if they apply to your business and you think they could benefit you to get back on your feet again. I'll include a little bit more information in the description below if you think any of them are going to be relevant to you. If you're new to the world of self-employment or you're thinking of just becoming self-employed, good luck. I, I, I would say it's not actually a bad time to consider being self-employed and to setting up your own business because there's a lot of help out there to help businesses get back on their feet again. There's a lot of really interesting stuff going on in terms of things like business bank accounts and stuff like that. So I, again, I'll include some links below if you're looking to get a business up and running and you want to try and get a business bank account sorted out, I'll include some links in the description below that might help you there as well. As I say, it's been a very difficult 12 months, but there are some amazing opportunities out there and they are ready for you to dive on them and make the most of it as we start to come out of this whole situation. In the meantime, do let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you follow the budget? Have you followed along this year? Maybe this is your first time you've ever even paid attention to the budget. Let us know. For now, best of luck on your small business journey. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and I shall see you next time. Tatty bye!